Welcome to the Peter McCallum Cancer Center. In January 2020, we asked over 100 Peter Mac patients how we could improve the patient experience for those coming into cancer imaging. With these videos, we hope to meet the need presented for better transparency around our procedures and show you what you can expect from your time here in cancer imaging. This video shows what it is like to have a CT scan at Peter Mac. The Peter McCallum Cancer Center is conveniently accessible through public transport and there is paid parking on site. When you arrive at Peter Mac, our friendly receptionist staff will help you find where you need to go for your specific consult, scan or therapy. Hi, my name is Hung and I'm a radiographer here at Peter Mac. I am going to talk to you through the process of having a CT scan with us here at Peter Mac. A computer tomography scan or a CT scan uses high energy x-rays to image any part of your body, for example, the organs, the bones, and the blood vessels inside. A CT machine or a CT scan may also be used with your doctor during a procedure, for example, a biopsy. This helps the doctors guide the devices into the areas of interest accurately. When you arrive for your CT scan, you may be given a jug of oral contrast to slowly drink over one hour. Oral contrast is almost tasteless and for most patients will taste like plain water. One thing to note though is a little bit sticky to just be mindful not to pour it on yourself. A litre of water with a bit of medication running through it. All right, I'll give you this. Most CT scans will involve an injection of CT contrast into a vein in your arm. This contrast injection helps the radiology doctors make an accurate diagnosis and is a normal part of a CT examination. If your CT examination requires you to have an injection, a cannula will be placed in a vein in your arm. A cannula is a small plastic tube that will allow the radiographer to administer the contrast. It is important to let the cancer imaging staff know if you have any other appointments in the hospital because the cannula can be left in for your other appointments if required. When the CT team is ready, they will call you into the CT scanner room where you will be asked to confirm your details one more time before the examination. Depending on the examination, you might lay feet first or head first into the CT machine. The contrast will be administered by the CT staff through your cannula when you are on the CT table. Throughout the examination, you will be given specific breathing instructions. The breathing instructions on the CT scanner is recorded in many different languages. Please ask the CT staff if you would prefer the breathing instructions to be in a different language. The CT team can hear and see you throughout the examination. If you have any concerns during the examination, please speak up and a staff member will come in to see you. Did you get that hot, warm feeling at all? Yeah, it was weird, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, perfect. Most people feel a little bit funny afterwards, but I think you did really well. Routine CT examinations at Peter Mac only take about five minutes to complete. When the CT examination is finished, a staff member will disconnect your cannula from the contrast machine and you will be asked to wait in the CT area for 10 minutes. Any other final questions at all? Uh, just when will I get my results? Ah, um, because you're seeing your doctors today, the results will be done and given to your doctors directly. But if you were seeing your doctors, for example, at the end of the week, they'll be sent to your doctors automatically anyway. We hope that this video was helpful in demonstrating what you can expect to experience when coming to Peter Mac for a CT scan. We asked our current patients what they would like to tell new patients coming into cancer imaging and this is what they had to say. I was nervous about my CT scan and it can be really nerve wracking not knowing what the scan is picking up. Although I did find the staff really understanding, even if they couldn't talk to me about my results, they were really attentive and I appreciate their warmth. Please call us on the number provided if you have any questions. For more information, visit the provided links.